Welcome back everybody. Today I'm doing a really fun look. It is inspired by the Bratz dolls. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about how the Bratz dolls style of makeup is basically what we see trending in beauty and makeup now. Since Bratz are dolls and have really exaggerated features, I thought why not do a drag look? So let's just get started. I always start off doing my brow cover and today I am starting off using a little bit of alcohol and just rubbing that all over my brow area. This will just ensure that the skin is free of excess oils or moisture that will lead the brows to pop or not stick as well. And of course I'm going in with my Elmer's glue just being pretty rough and getting that all in the brow hairs then combing it up taut to the skin and just pressing it down my skin. I want it to be as flat as possible. So after I get it smoothed out as much as I can get it, I'm gonna take a brush, like the end of a brush, and press that all along it to really get it taut to the skin. I saw Raven do a trick similar to this in a video. I believe she used a spoon. Just be careful when doing this because it can get a little clumpy with the glue. And of course, you wanna let this dry with each coat before you go in for another, but be sure to wipe off the excess glue every time you go through to do another coat because again, if you leave the excess glue, it'll start to ball up and get clumpy. So as you see, I'm just laying the glue, pressing it down, wiping away excess and letting it dry. And I'm gonna do that probably three times and then I'm going to take my translucent powder on a sponge, you can use a powder puff, and I'm just packing that into the brow. And this is a completely dry brow, I just want to really absorb any little bit of moisture and to really fill in those little spots that may be creating a little bit more texture. After I do that powder, I'm going to do probably two or three more layers of the glue, same as I did before, and then I will be set. Now I just laid down the white from my pastel gloss palette, really didn't matter what it was, I could have used translucent powder, um, but I just packed that over the brow cover for the last time and that's it for the whole gluing process. Now to cover up all the darkness of my brows and that white shadow, I'm going to take my sort of medium shade for me of the Tarte Shape Tape and this is really pigmented so it really helps cover the darkness of the hair and everything like that. And lastly, you want to be sure to pack on that translucent powder so everything's smooth and basically your brow cover is done. <laughs> now I'm taking my Shade and Light palette and to do my brows, um, I mix sort of like the black with that more cool tone brown and I basically just shape it out to be a little bit more arch than my natural brow but I want it to start um, in the same general area and I sketch it out really sloppily I make sure to do this first before anything else in the routine because if you mess up your brows like when you already have your shadow done things can get really messy so I rather just get the brows out of the way so the rest is smooth sailing Something that I love doing with the brows is using those powders from the Kat Von D palette mixed with my Mayron Mixing Medium. It makes it a lot more smooth and it sort of fills in the texture a lot more smooth than a dry shadow would. So that's something I've been loving doing and it doesn't interrupt the glue underneath. And then I'll be carving it out with my concealer. Underneath I'll use a brighter and then above I'll use that medium toned one. Once I'm done with my brows and I've carve them to my liking, I'm going to take that white from the pastel goth and set my brow bone. Next, I'm taking my liquid liner from NYC. It really helps me to do my liner first when doing drag looks just because I'm not too familiar with building so much bigger than like my natural eye shape. So it helps me know where to take the shadows and where to like cut my crease. It really helps a lot. So if you're new to drag makeup, I definitely recommend trying this, especially if you have hooded eyes because it can get very confusing. Mm. 
and I'm basically following that shape with those same shadows from my Shade and Light palette, just the black and that brown and I'm trying to blend out the edges as much as I can and I'm making sure to build that tight to my nose so that extended wing sort of creates like a cat eye shape and then I'm cutting my crease using my whiteout concealer from Kat Von D. I'm sort of following the shape sort of what you would see like pearl do. I want it to be keeping with like I said like that cat eye shape so I don't want it to be too round. For that lid color, I'm taking a sugar pill shadow mixed with my Mayron Mixy Medium, which again is like a godsend. The last touch on like the shadow for now, I'm going to take that black and just touch up above where I cut my crease. And then I'm just touching up my liner because it kind of got covered up by all that shadow. And again, when doing this, I want to keep with sort of that like angular cat eye shape. So I'm not going to round out the liner much. I'm going to try to keep it as angular and like steep as possible. And then of course I'm going to do like the little cat corner in like the tear duct of my eye, I guess. And then that's it for the eyes for now. Now on to the complexion. I am priming with this like Sunset Veil primer. It felt really nice on the skin, so I plan on using it more and we'll see how I like it. The skin looked really good this day, so maybe that was in part why. Um, but I am taking my Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation and my Anastasia foundation stick to contour in mink. I'm actually going in like a different shape. I sort of went higher for the cheeks. I saw Valentina's tutorial and she cuts the cheeks um, a lot more angular than I was doing prior before it was a lot more natural I guess. So that's what I'm doing here and I really love the way that turned out. And then I'm highlighting using those two concealers from Tarte. I'm taking a lighter one in the very center and then like a medium one everywhere else and it helps me just like keep the skin looking balanced. I feel like sometimes I try to highlight and then it just gets too bright and like I look way too white. Now to contour the nose, this was actually the first time I was actually successful with nose contour. I took a mink on a little flat brush, I ran that on the sides of my nose and tried to blend it out as much as I could. And then I took my lightest concealer and I just ran that straight down my nose and did a little, you know, exclamation point and kind of carved around that contour to give me like a little bit of a button nose. I finished off the complexion, setting it all with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, and then I'm on to the lips. Now I took, I believe, a mix of my like ColourPop liquid lipstick in like a brownish color. I'll leave everything listed down below that I used, and I mixed that sort of with like Poison I think from Anastasia just to line the lips. And I'm building, you know, sort of like the drag shape. A lot of girls take the corners out for the top lip a lot. And brass stalls have that very, like, dramatic shape. So that's what I'm doing there. And then for the lip color overall, I'm mixing shades from my Anastasia lip palette. And I mix, like, sort of a more mauve color for the outer perimeter of my lips. And then for the very center, I mix together sort of like a milky pink. And I wanted to keep that gradient because, of course, Bratz dolls always have sort of that very dimensional lip. For all over the face, I am bronzing with my MAC Give Me Sun. Um, there wasn't a lot of life to prior drag looks that I've done, and I, I wondered why. And I wasn't following like what I would normally do in my natural, everyday looks that kind of bring it to life. So bronzing really helped kind of bring in a transition for the contour as well as give me some color. 
now to highlight I'm taking my Mary Luminizer sort of just like very close in I'm not taking it all the way around my orbital bone or anything like that just right under my eyes popping it right there and it looked bomb like I've been trying different things with my makeup and I'm happy with the way it's turning out now to highlight the face I'm taking that yellow shade from the shade and light palette and I'm taking that in the center of my face just to highlight because I don't like the look of sort of when your highlights really pop in and then the highlights of your face are like kind of they look sunken almost so so everything's really cohesive and I'm patting that in with a moist sponge and then I'm adding a little birthmark my beauty mark and then I'm contouring my nose with my Kat Von D shade and light palette per usual and then I'm highlighting my nose with that same Mary Luminizer and then I'm going to contour my face with the same shade and light contour palette shout out to Kat Von D you have bomb products I'm always going back with like my Max Selena brush to meld all the powders together and then I think I'm adding blush now and that's pretty much it this is pretty much like a basic look and sometimes I look at drag looks and I'm like that looks kind of boring but it takes a lot to make it look sort of lifelike and almost like kind of natural you know so anyways I went into the lower lash line as you saw I took sort of the same browns that I took um, earlier and then I blended my gel um, pencil from Marc Jacobs on my lower lash line this stuff is bomb and it doesn't move so once you kind of smudge it out, it won't go anywhere. And I love the way it looked. I feel very Kimura Black. Now with the same powders that I used earlier for my brows, I'm mixing that with a little Mehron Mixing Medium and I'm sort of coloring in some brow hairs in the very front of my brows. I want to pretend like I have Valentina brows. And that's it for the face. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really had a lot of fun with this look and I'm very satisfied with the way it turned out. It was actually my third time trying this look. I made little changes every single time and I'm glad that I finally had an outcome that I was happy with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and let me know what you think. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you guys are well and I'll see you guys next time.